Bala Mato Dambam was shocked when he was arrested and jailed by the police and accused of being a Boko Haram fighter. He was on his way home here to Port Harcourt in southern Nigeria from the north, where he had gone to buy supplies for his shop. He was traveling with 294 other men who were accused of belonging to the group too. They were traveling in the middle of the night. They were arrested at 17 motors, full of passengers. They dropped down the passengers. Check all the bags of the passengers. Check their body. They couldn't find anything. After all, they asked the passenger to go back inside the motor. After the passenger go back inside the vehicles, all of them, police at the back, police at the front, carry them. Bala and these men were eventually released, some after 15 nights of interrogation. The police say 19 of the arrested men could not give a satisfactory account of why they were traveling, and one suspect had ammunition on him. He's still in custody. Because there have been so many bombings and suicide attacks by Boko Haram in the northeast, some people are worried that the group could attack the south especially the police. They say they were acting on an intelligence report that Boko Haram fighters were traveling down from the north. When you see such large number of uh, buses with people coming from uh, that, uh, that angle, uh, it is bound, police is bound to find out what really was happening. The large number of Muslims stay here peacefully and nobody, to my knowledge, as victimized anybody. But Muslim leaders say Boko Haram is not active here and the arrests are making people feel uncomfortable. Since the history of river states, there is no anything Boko Haram. Where the Muslim community here, we check every person that come to river states. When you come to our mocks, we know you, we check you. But Boko Haram has threatened to launch attacks across Nigeria and do want strict Islamic law enforced everywhere. And so the security services may be suspicious of people traveling from the north. Innocent people living here from the region can only hope they're not victimized as a result. Yvonne Dege, Al Jazeera.